What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and here we are with another quick video or at least I hope it's quick You guys have been bugging me and bugging me and bugging me about this on Instagram and Twitter um, Yes <laughs> When are you gonna get that Nexus 5 battery when are you gonna get that Nexus 5 battery? I've been waiting on it to come and I came home and this was on my doorstep or in my mailbox actually So let's go ahead and open it up There we have it, that's empty. Now we just have this, this is a fat little package here from Zero Lemon. I am rather excited about this because lately, um, if I'm gonna be using my phone a ton, uh, the battery looks, the battery life lasts fine when you're doing normal things, but when you're playing like Granny Smith and you're trying to unlock the, <laughs> get all the apples and when you're, you know, doing a lot of things, the battery dies rather quickly. That Snapdragon 800 kicking in. Oh, and I want to give a quick shout out to James. He has a YouTube channel. I will link to it in the description below. He sent me this tempered glass screen protector. Um, everything but this little part right here is perfect. And that was, you know, the that wasn't the, that was the person that applied its fault. But it, I mean, it, it looks pretty good. Just that tiny little spot right there. But yeah, it's tempered glass. It's uh, you don't even know it's on your phone. You really cannot tell that the screen protector is on your phone. But I don't want to get off topic, anyways. I just want to give him a big thank you, and you should check out his channel. He does uh, Android videos as well. So then we just need to open this sucker up, and we'll dump everything out. All right, that's empty. There is quite a bit in here. We've got little connectors. This is, no, this isn't going to be a quick video. There's a lot to this. So, <laughs> not a quick video. There's a little cleaning cloth. Here is some reading material on applying the whole shindig. Uh, I have a extended battery from Zero Lemon on my Note 3. I had one for my Note 2, S3, S4. Uh, even the little hot swappable batteries like the not the extended ones but the slim batteries and you have a little charger to put them in so uh, I mess with zero limit a lot they, they make some great stuff um and here's the battery for the little um, thing that's in here I guess and then you've got a little battery cover and you've got a little cable it's micro USB to full size or normal USB. This is going to be very weird. So there, here's the case. To do the kickstand function, you just flip this around and it locks or something along those lines and you set your phone down and it's it's a kickstand thing. I'm not sure how to enable it and I don't Well, there we go. So I mean, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah. How do I get it? There we go. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to use that feature. I'm not even going to use the belt clip holster thing. But I've been using like external battery packs with my Nexus 5 for a while now. I got off topic. I have ADHD. It happens. Oh, well. But uh, I've been using some external battery packs to power my device if it starts running low. So... This is going to be very, very, very awesome when I'm on a trip to Nashville from Kansas City and I don't want my phone dying because T-Mobile does not have the best coverage. T-Mobile works absolutely beautifully in Kansas City where I live. Uh, Sprint does not at all work here for me and anybody else that has Sprint that I know in this area. But when you go outside of Kansas City, Sprint works beautifully and then... <laughs> uh, so yeah, my phone gets pretty hot and I, this looks very, very similar to the Note 3 case. So we're going to go ahead and dissect this thing, take it apart. I want to go ahead and pull the battery out of here. It is 3,500 milliamp hours. To put that into perspective, the stock battery in the Note 3 is 3,200. The Note 2 is 3,100 and the battery in here is... Well, in here is a 2300 milliamp hour. So that is impressive. And I can instantly tell right away that there's a little port here at the bottom. And then this plugs into your Nexus 5 while it's in the case. So 
this scenario right here, I've been using this a lot in order to power my device if it's running low. So then you can also um, use it the other way and charge this battery like this. So, you know, whatever. We're gonna read the instructions so we're gonna get into this. So we just peel along the edge here. I'll forget about that every time I go to take the battery off of my Note 3, the zero limit extended battery. As you saw, that is a booger to get apart. And based on my experience with the Note 3 version of this battery, which uh, the Note 3 has a removable battery, so it doesn't need all this fancy USB port thingy majig. So you just unflap, un unclamp this little guy. There we go. It splits apart, as you can see right there. And then it comes out like that. And then you have a cleaning cloth to make sure that this side is nice and clean of debris and stuff if I could stop messing this up and then we have the screen protector on this one um, obviously you could remove it or keep it on there we'll see there's two screen protectors this one uh, some people I heard have pried the plastic screen protector out of here you can see the like edges where it meets it and stuff um, I'm not recommending and I'm sure the zero lemon does not recommend that either that is you know modifications to the battery case that could possibly void your warranty I'm pretty sure so if you do it do you are doing it on your own will I'm not gonna be doing it so that's that we'll go ahead and put our Nexus 5 in there it's got little cutouts for the speaker and then the camera and then the proximity sensor and you can see little holes here at the bottom for the speaker to go through and then we just take this and put it in there. You gotta take the little U-shaped connector out of it. This is my first time doing this. So this is a um, experimental thing. So you take the U-shaped connector, you plug this into the bottom of your Nexus 5 here. And then this sits in there like that. You take this. All right, so that flips around like that, and then that goes in there like such. There's a little button right here to turn this on. There's three little lights there. Set that down in there. All right, it's starting to look like an actual battery case from here. All right, I can still um, navigate stuff with the two with the tempered glass screen protector and the zero lemon screen protector. So I've got two screen protectors on my Nexus 5 right now. It's kind of insane. There's the camera. It's not blocking the camera or the flash. So now we'll insert the phone into the soft case right here. All right, and here's the test on whether I will actually use this battery on a day-to-day -day basis. On the Note 3, it was a struggle like multiple presses and tries in order to get the screen to turn on uh, I found myself hitting the home button to turn the screen on and as you're aware this device does not have a home button so let's try to press power for the very first time Wow that's very easy and it says it's charging via USB there's that button for the battery pack so you don't have to take the whole thing off to get to that button that we pressed earlier and you don't have to press it then either you can wait until you have the plastic shell on and then it says it's charging via usb so to charge the actual um gadget here oh okay there we go that's what this cable right here is for plug this into the case right here And then you plug this into something else to charge it if you wanted to. Or you could take a standard charger that came with your Nexus 5, the little wall charger that came with it, and then plug in the cable that came with your Nexus 5 as well, the little micro USB connection right here that came with your normal cable, plug that into that little port right here at the bottom, and that will charge the actual battery inside the case here, which you can see has 
two lights and then the third one flashing. So there you have it. Uh, I will try to update the description the best I can. Well, I'm impressed. This power button is not requiring multiple tries to turn the case on and off. So let's test and see how hard it is to hold it. Dude, I wish their Note 3 version of this battery was this easy. I would actually use it more often. They, they did a much better job with the power button on this phone than with the Note 3 extended battery case. I like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this quite often actually. So let's test something real quick. Before I end this video, I wanna test something. It made a lock screen noise, so I know that it's gonna be fine. I just want to, for sake of sanity, let's go ahead and change the ringtone real quick. All right, so it sounds fine. I don't have any complaints. The speaker's not being blocked. The power button's easy to press. You still have easy access to volume up and down, which is not hard to press either. And then there's some kind of little porter flap here. I'm not sure what that would be for. <laughs> I don't know what that would go to. Everything's accessible. You've got access to your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, your noise canceling microphone. The other microphone for talking is one of these. One of these is the speaker, the other one's the microphone. And without making this video any longer, I'm gonna go ahead and end it. My first impressions are, I can see myself using this on extended trips, vacation and stuff like that. For at home use, I get a day of battery life with the stock 2300 milliamp hour battery. This does not add a bunch of weight to the phone. It does make it quite a bit thicker, but I promise you, I'm going to get a little scale for measuring electronics someday. This does not weigh that much. I don't really have any complaints, and the phone is still a good size for my large hands. So yeah, I mean, I, I could recommend it. If you need extra battery life, if your Nexus 5's dying on you quicker than you'd like it to, definitely check this battery out. If you enjoyed the video, please do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up. This was the how to install it, set the phone up, showing you act, you know, all the ports and that the speakers work fine. And everything works as it should and you'll have much longer battery life. So please give the video a thumbs up. It helps the channel out more than you probably know. If you're new here, please subscribe. You will not miss any future videos that I upload. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram to stay up to date on the latest videos that I'm working on. That's where you'll learn what videos that are coming up next without waiting on me to upload a new video. I have other social media accounts as well, including Facebook, Google Plus, and etc. All links will be in the description below, including a link to buy this case on Amazon where I bought it from. I paid for this out of my own pocket and I'm, I feel that it's worth it at the moment. Once I test out this 3,500 milliamp hour battery, I'll know for sure and I'll update the description and I may, I may follow this up with a review someday if a lot of people, you know, if people want me to do that. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out.